it is pre-settlement inspection time at the new property and I tell you it's not looking good we are I think going to have a little bit of trouble settling this property um, purely because of the damage that's been done to it since I exchanged on it so let's go check it out now It's official guys. I have the key to the property that we are calling Carrington House. So it's officially mine. You can see it behind me here. And I am doing what I always do when I first get a property. This week I will be celebrating it with some champagne and giving it a blessing. But what I'm also gonna be doing is making it secure and safe. So as you know, this one is going to be a slow renovation. So you can see it every single step of the way. But the first thing I need to make sure that I do is that it is secure. And that means meeting my builder on site after I've done a little bit of a private tour and getting him to ensure that that all of the doors are safe, all of the locks are changed, and that it's ready for me and my team to move into really soon. Well, I bought this house because I really had this hankering and this need to do two things. One, I felt like I needed a permanent home again for my team. And two, because I wanted to share the really intricate details of what goes into a renovation with my audience. And the only way for me to be able to do a slow renovation is to buy a place of my own and move in. What did I see in this property? Wow, I, I saw so many things in this property. I saw rubble, debris, hoarders, I saw, I also saw character. I saw character that I guess had been bastardized over the years. So unlike a home that it's really obvious the character that it has, this property, its character had kind of been destroyed. So I guess I saw a bit of a wounded or a broken home and a home that if I had patience and I had vision, I could turn it into a property that it maybe was like a hundred years ago. So this property does have some positives. Its positives are, I might have to think hard, it is really old, um, so it's on sandstone foundations and it has a gorgeous little sort of four square brick cottage at the front, which is really endearing. It has a chimney, that's a positive. Um, I'm struggling. It also has a really big backyard. Let's leave it at that. Okay, what are the challenges of the property? Good question. Um, lots. So it is derelict out the back. There's, it's not habitable. There's a lot of asbestos everywhere, but it's intact, so it's not a danger. There are some structural issues in the front porch. It's moldy, it's dirty, it's messy. What am I most excited about? I think I am most excited about the fact that this is probably one of the most detailed renos uh, I would have had to do. I'm excited about the fact that I get to do so much of it myself because it's, it's not a quick flip. So I get to take my time and share every part of the reno with you. And I'm most excited about sharing it with my team. I'm not sure they're excited, but I'm excited. Thanks for joining me. Did you know I wrote a book all about renovating to create wealth and freedom in your life? I've added the link below in the description for you. Enjoy.